hi people welcome back to my youtube channel if you've been here before to nice to see you again if you haven't welcome welcome and do not forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so today i'm going to be creating a costume for a somewhat zulu themed photo shoot i've already gone on to the process and you can see what's already going on i'm going to be doing this with the help of my teacher who was patient enough to guide me through every step like every step of the way guys you would think cutting fiber paper is easy peasy if you know the effort precision and diligence that has to go into cutting this paper hmm. oh gosh you have to make sure that the raffia mat doesn't go outside the mark line you have to make sure that the nip of your index finger is on the knife to be able to mount pressure on it to cut it to cut into the paper and oh my gosh it was something and after we had cut it out we went in with cutting the parts of um the cap that would fit into the person's head that was going to wear it and you can see the cut up part of um, the cut on so yes we're using the cut on and the other fiber paper i hope I, I, i'm trying to remember the exact name that it's called but yes and you all can already see what's going on right yeah and after we've done that you have to seal that part with paper now this is another tricky part you can see the marked out part that has gum already on it and we're trying to make this fit on it you have to make sure that this part doesn't come out of the line like it has to stay on the line my gosh <sighs> the diligence that went into this process the diligence that went into it this was my day two and this was this is the part where we covered the carton with fabric and trying to make sure that we do not have excess and afterwards just sticking the fabric to the carton so we could glue it and you can see me doing that ready look at how that turned out next part is using tool to just give the hat like uh, a beautiful twist to it you know you also have to make sure that you aren't putting so much on one particular side and leaving the other sides out like the pleats have to be equal everything has to be equal hmm. if i tell you guys that this was an easy process it that, that would be a lie but my teacher made it very easy for me by being patient with me and taking it easy with me now on to the next stage decorating the almost finished product you can see what's going on how it's beautifully coming around like i told you guys the diligence the precision that went into this project is one for the books it is not for the meek hearted i kid you not it is not for the meek hearted I swear 
while waiting for it to dry just wanted to show you guys like how it looked inside as well now it's time to neatly finish up what we started so putting in this part to cover the rough edges and rough parts of all that we did making sure that it looks as neat as possible you know putting glue on the edges as well to make sure that everything is neatly covered and also doing the exterior finishing touches and just look at how that's going you can yes. see how beautiful it's turning out right still on the finishing process gosh hmm. this was really a lot we were counting the beads like i said precision precision the beads had to be counted so for every step we were reducing by two once you miss the number you'll have to repeat like it won't be perfect so you have to keep counting you have to fully concentrate on what you're doing else you could forget what number was the last one and this is another difficult part the sewing part but guys look at the finished product just take a look at that amazing honor can you tell us in the comments next up was creating the <laughs> neck piece which took another ton of precision to it marking with a pen and a ruler cutting molding the inner part and having it into this part sewing this part in Oof. I'm just grateful for the strength to have gone through this process like it was just god's grace because what i mean <laughs> how could i have by my own strength i'm i'm very creative with my hands i'm i'm really good at it but like this was a whole different ball game entirely and now to the shoot day just see how beautifully everything is coming together and how everything served its purpose the hat was pretty big for a head so i had to hey. use something else to okay. just create some balance like some um what's the word now can't find the word but just like give it a good hold yes, and that i did Mom. and just look at how gorgeous amazing gorgeous this is is this making you want to have a photo shoot does this make you want to have a photo shoot does this inspire you tell us in the comments and most importantly do not hesitate to give us a phone call because we absolutely can't wait to create magic with you shout out to every member of the team who gave their all to this project like who put in every ounce of time effort and energy they had in them to bring this to life creativity is top notch would you want to see the end results of this just go on to our instagram page using our handle tagged in the description box below and it will take you there until next time stay jiggy